certainly the progress is what has brought all of us here good afternoon everyone it takes almost a decadal effort for any institution to ever have someone with the skill set with the experience that we are having with our expert panelists today on that note first of all let me welcome everyone to institution of innovation council and ministry of education innovation cell together with birla global university to host the impact lecture series second session and we have with us a personality which has a vast experience that is you know continuing beyond 21 years i can say a personality that believes in having the trajectory growth from sa vidya ya vimukta to sa vidya ya nijukta please welcome on board dr manisha acharya madam acharya has been the chief executive officer of several institutions and companies of repute and to name a few she has been a student of life sciences who believed in the entrepreneurial mindset and took it to her stride to achieve remarkable achievements not only for the growing ecosystem but especially strengthening the domain of india's belief whether it is make in india digital india or like we would all believe to be associated with startup india a personality originating from the land of odisha ma'am manisha acharya has the experience of being the sustainability practitioner and trainer through all her efforts being the founder director of we premiers forum which encourages women entrepreneurship she has been nominated to feature in a book she is which is recognized as 75 outstanding women engaged in promotion and popularization of science technology engineering applied arts and mathematics abbreviated as steam in the country she is also nominated to be the expert advisory committee on innovation science and technology entrepreneurship development program which is the famous i said program policy of ministry of science and technology government of india she has been a fellow of oxford university the recipient of british sovereign fellowship in science research and innovation abbreviated as crisp we may proudly also have one more accolade and certainly not the last to label as the mentor on road the trainer and the recipient of innomptus award which is nothing short of the olympiad in entrepreneurship arena ma'am we now have the eager awaiting done to listen and have your experience sharing and like i truly address her as the mentor who will bring a change and certainly has for the betterment thank you everyone thank you thank you so much for this introduction and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts and experience uh, let me share my ppt is it visible yes ma'am yes ma'am please continue okay so before we start to, towards the what is the for the mentoring and the startup or all these things first of all i would like to say the what is the difference between an entrepreneur and a businessman it is this question always i ask to different students wherever i go to any any institution any academic institute i always ask this question and if anyone just i want to make it a make it an interactive session so if any doubt or anything someone has to uh, tell me then immediately uh, they can they can do the interference no problem okay so uh, if you will see the businessman they are doing the business year after year generation after generation then what is the need of an entrepreneur why this 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 entrepreneur startup why these buzzwords are coming why these things are coming it is a global phenomenon that we need to create more and more startups so if you will see an entrepreneur who is taking the risk risk means they have they have created something new some new innovation 
and they don't know whether that innovation will work or not another thing is that they uh, not only the innovation risk they are taking they are taking the financial risk time risk because they are spending their time they are investing their uh, with their product with their innovation so who are the risk taker so they are the entrepreneur business means are not risk taker they are doing that business they know this thing will will continue will definitely work so they are continuing the generation of generation but an entrepreneur who always take the risk who is the risk taker who make the things happen who believe who has the some passion who has some uh, some vision so those are called as an entrepreneur uh, my slides are moving right Okay, so uh, so then, what is a startup? Because we are coming the word as the startup entrepreneur. So what is a startup then? If this is an entrepreneur, then what is a startup? Startup is a company who is built up by one or two or three entrepreneurs. Now these days, even single on one company can be formed. But mostly two to three persons they combine the two to three entrepreneur they combinedly make a make a startup. if you see uh, there are many definition for the startups in the bin the startup india they have also created many definitions we will we'll go through that also but it will ask me what is a startup i always believe that a startup is a company who solves a problem and do business out of it that's a that's a very simple uh, definition if, uh, of a startup so it is start a startup is a company working to solve a problem where the solution is not obvious and success is not guaranteed so they are taking the risk they don't know whether they are what are the solution they are giving whether they will work or not whether that success is guaranteed or not they don't know but out of that risk they are do they are doing something to bring that to the society to solve a problem so he uh, he looked at a problem and see, um, always their startup company or an entrepreneur they see the problem as an opportunity and out of that problem they develop the uh, develop the opportunity to start something new and to give back to the society so that is a startup when the innovation technology and passions are combined a startup company generate so next we can see the different definition of it because now we understood the what is a business business is a, or, uh, a organization to a commercial organization for the commercial activities entrepreneur it is an who takes the risk entrepreneurship that is the process of setting up a business not not the entrepreneurship process of setting the entrepreneur who follow the process that is the entrepreneurship and startup it is a company young company that is who two or three entrepreneurs they combinedly uh, set up a startup company so what are the key elements we required for the entrepreneurship for an entrepreneur what are the key elements innovation innovation and creativity is the key element because with here i am not telling about the innovation means the only the product it can be the service but something some newness some usp should be there then that is very much required for a startup company risk taking that always I'll already i have told that for a startup it is always required to do the to a risk taker and must have a vision to set up a company and organizing skill because you have to organize one startup has to set up a company and to organize the whole team whole organization so that organization skill also very much required so if you see uh, why the um, um, entrepreneur um, uh, can be a innovator but they need a proper team so that the whole process can be organized that is that is very much required so what are the different um, important factors of entrepreneurship if you see there are no age bar of minimum eligibility there is no age bar for to be an entrepreneur recently uh, of my organization that winners forum we did a um, uh, startup launchpad program for the girl students for the standard 8 to 12 and i really uh, it is really uh, amazed to see one one girl from standard 9 she has already started her company 
and another girl she is helping to her family business and she is trying to do that is something something a new new things will come may make to their business they already they have business but she is trying to make something new thing uh, to in that business so there is no age limit you can be a, one can be a startup and entrepreneur from any age if they can one can be in the school level that they are also building up their company so there are no minimum age limit definitely to be an entrepreneur you must have a brilliant idea you must have solve a solve a problem with a very brilliant idea must have the execution skills and the passion passion is very much required we need we we all know that if you want to something very great very big thing we must to have some some passion should be there otherwise without passion nothing can be possible that passion will drive that startup company so another thing is the uh, although it is not always correct but still there are some value that strong educational background because that will that will increase the possibility of the success success the success rate will be high if the educational background is good it is it is it is applicable to everywhere every place that is the if you are a, have a strong educational background the chances of success rate is very high so but it is not mandatory even if the some some startups who have the not from good educational background now they are also success it is not that always only the uh, uh, entrepreneur who have the good strong and educational background they are only be successful but this is one point that can the possibility will be high and another thing that if someone has to be the way startup they that is it is there are many top business school and many country they are offering different programs entrepreneurship awareness camp so one can avail that those program also we can be because that will be give a bigger idea that will give a wider respect what 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 are the things we need to do what we should not do so it is a like a different programs one can attend so as per the dpiit the startup india scheme they have some definition to be an entrepreneur one you can get through their web, website also so that company is uh, should not be uh, exceeds 10 years and uh, from the date of incorporation company type the private limited all these thing i'm not telling you one by one because you can get through their website it easily so for a startup what are the things we need to do uh first of all we need to identify the problem properly many of us say that the from good big big idea creates a big uh, innovation or good idea creates a very good innovation no if you identify the problem properly then from that problem identification you will create a, create a right idea and from right idea to right innovation so problem identification is the key of success key of the great innovation and then after you identify the problem you can you can go, go to the idea generation and validation it is very much required to validate your idea then next is the innovation you can create the prototype then um, uh, proof of concept then prototype then minimum viable product then next stage is that the go to market and to scale up so these are the these are the different step for an in, for a startup to follow but always make it a point that you have to identify the problem properly you because uh, if you will not identify the problem then you will not get the customer because there must be uh, uh, there must be something uh, the identification of the problem is required because your solution because if once you identify the problem properly your solution the seed that whether it is a it is a pain killer or it is a vitamin because pain killer is very much because the customer it is a real painful that is you need, you will bring to the pain killer or you will get just a vitamin whether vitamin means whether you want you can customer will take or not because that is not mandatory but it is really painful they have to take that pain killer so from that aspects you need to know whether the problem identification is proper and the product that you are giving whether that is a pain killer or it is vitamin so from that you have to start your journey to be your entrepreneurial journey so 
here just i would like to mention as i am i have the expertise in the incubation field incubators are also helping the startups in every stage one has to one incub it is the key point that incubator should help the help a uh, startup not only after their product and everything from the i the problem identification stage that is the pre incubation you can say the problem identification how they will identify the problem how they will uh, they develop the idea how to validate the idea all these things one incubator should help so if there is a good incubator definitely you can be the part of that incubator so what are the different types of entrepreneurs innovative entrepreneurs means they are always doing something something new product new service or something something create new type of things so um, uh, they are they are called the innovative entrepreneurs replicate entrepreneurs now replicative entrepreneurs now you see that there are many many startups are coming up who are just replicating what other things means if the product or service is available in bangalore they are trying to do in in bhubneswar up or the it is is something is available in the outside india they are trying to do in the in inside india like uber that is already available outside india then ola came because they replicate that uber uh, business so that is that is the replicative entrepreneurs that is not bad means it is it is not always say that you have to develop the same thing but um, it, it have to develop the very new things uh, totally new it is not like that if the if know that uh, that particular product or service is available somewhere else but not available where you want to do the business you can do that business because if that is the demand of that product or service in that particular geographical area you can develop so with that perspective ola has developed that business and now they are uh, doing well and another is the opportunity entrepreneurs means by showing that there are some opportunity like if you have this during this covid time many many startups are coming in the online business because online online things are uh, because gradually many many uh, all the almost all families they are taking their product their things through online so many new startups are coming up they are they're selling their uh, selling vegetable fruits even groceries everything is online so that is the opportunity entrepreneur and then in the necessity entrepreneurs because uh, when they will see this there is some necessity because like in this covid covid time there the mask mask n95 mask or other mask that is that is the required so with that there are many entrepreneurs come up in the healthcare sector uh, who develop different product different things for the who can tackle the covid 19 situation then and then the social entrepreneurship it is social entrepreneurs it is it is uh, it is not always true that a social entrepreneur can be only the non profit organization for profit organization can be also a social entrepreneur it is a it is a uh, if you will discuss this point then it is a it is a, in itself it is a total means complete uh, presentation can be done for this topic but social entrepreneur they always make it a uh, priority for the benefits for the social purpose social benefits so that is their main priority there are many startups who are for profit organization also but they are also as a social entrepreneurs so what are the different characteristics required for a to be an entrepreneur must be a great vision and must be the passion that passion one must have so that is already i have told must be very innovative creative creative attitude so that innovation and that creativity is very much required to be an entrepreneur risk taker uh, must be a leader because you have to lead an organization so that leader characteristic also we have persistent ethical because you need to do all business everything but must must do to ethical because uh, and very honest way. that is that is a key point key point key mantra to be a successful entrepreneur compete spirit because you know there are many competitors you, you get many competitors to in your uh, venture but that competitive spirit you must have versatile must be flexible because flexibility because if suppose your plan a is not working then you can do the plan b also that flexibility you must have 
you can work any time because sometimes entrepreneur has to work during the night time for some purpose so that everything that flexibility here i am saying that you have to the flexibility in nature you have the very flexible nature must have money savvy very much focused that is also very much required your focus you should not be doing like that that uh, without any proper focus that you cannot be a good entrepreneur business smart because smart business is very much required you, you you can work hard you can you can be very sincere work hard but you have to do the business also smartly communicators because communication networking is a very key point for an entrepreneur to be a successful because me too you have to network with the different different stakeholders like the uh, your fellow entrepreneurs fell your uh, incubators investors other stakeholders your customers so you have to be very good in communications uh, your communication skills should be very good so what are the different aspects of the business concept or idea you must have identified the problem and have the good idea and concept you have to develop and out of that you must have developed a product it can be product here it can be a service also but just means product or service you have to develop then a, a business model means the what is the cost and this cost of that product or service what are the core values what who are the your competitors who are your target customers and uh, how to ma market the product management all these things the business model you have to, to know then market size like the total addressable market tam sam and so on that you have to know know the market size and com competition then the traction and whether your product is market fit or not and the team it is also very very much required from that team is should be very complementary skill in the early stage investors are most looking at your team how is your team whether they have the complementary skills or not because from the team you can know that whether you you can continue successfully whether in the in the crisis during the crisis time whether you can you are capable to overcome so the team will define all these things so you must have a good team and have the complementary skills because an innovator or an engineer can innovate a good things but they maybe they don't have the management skill so one person from the management one person from the marketing side so that complementary skills is, will be very much required and definitely the go to market plan and your milestones and or the means total business plan that is how to achieve and the, your road map to one by one you to go so this is a business model canvas whenever you start a business you must do this business model canvas and write it down when you will take a pen and paper and write it down that will make you very clear what exactly you have to do step by step so all these things because innovation i i like to give some things about the more about the innovation because innovation is the key point for a successful startup or entrepreneur you all know that the big company like nokia or kodak they don't survive because due to lack of the innovation they once upon a time they were very good but due to the lack of innovation they are out of the market so continuous effort in innovation is very much required even for a big company big uh, mnc they are spending a lot on innovation so what exactly it is innovation is what is the difference between the innovation and invention see innovation invention is the science if you see invention is the innovation invention is the science and innovation is the engineering part so uh, if you see that whatever you science has developed and engineers have created that innovation from that science so here are some examples uh, we have i have given in the next page also day to day activities what are the examples we have like magnet from magnet if the magnet is the invention then innovation is the compass and if you see the gps we are now all are using the google maps that invention is gps out of that google maps is how we are, are helping us a lot in we are using on day to day activities any big city it is helping a lot lenses from lens you would the spectacles is the innovation rubber to tires 
lcd2 tv screens uh, that there are many more you can you can just write it down that you can make a list also if if your own this is the some examples i have prepared to just to uh, share with you all so idea then innovation and if you some will ask what is an idea idea is the systematic approach up towards the innovation if first you identify the problem then do the proper systematic approach okay this that is the idea and from that systematic approach that from that idea where innovation will develop so uh, if you say what what are the different types of idea there are many, many uh, there are many many uh, principal may saying many uh, i am not a management student but in man management study you can see that there are different uh, principal there are things but if you see that idea is basically two types one is the need based one is seed based idea need based idea is the that is the n95 marks for example that is the required for during this covid situation this is the required so that is the need based idea to develop seed based idea is the the you can say the mobile things also because through mobile uh, we are now using we are not using any camera or anything we are just carrying one mobile and through that we are taking home uh, pictures everything so that has developed as the seed based idea from that seed uh, they have developed something some in then market they have created the market for that one can there is always one can uh, is a brainstorming what which idea is better whether it is a need based idea better or seed based idea as for me both are required so there are five essential elements for a successful startup you have to have a good idea good innovation you must have a good team good complementary skill team you must develop a good business model out of it and funding that is definitely because and you need the funding at every stage when you are you are developing a prototype that time that time also you need funding that time you can approach to a incubator because there you can get the prototype grant and uh, after that prototype grant from that incubator also you can get the seed funding support then you can approach to um, um, angel investors then vcs then banks so that funding requirement is step by step at the whole and the most critical point is the timing that innovation that you are created or the problem you are solving or the idea you are generating it must be must be not uh, means if the, there is a very ahead of the timing or very it is already many people have developed that those thing those type of things and cost and mean even uh, better things are in the available in the market then also your uh, product will not work so timing is a very key point uh, at what time at uh, you are developing your product or service so here you can say some examples i have given that there are some disruption in taxi services like uh, the taxi services now that ola over are there so and uh, it makes our lives very very easy that time the supermarket that uh, all available but now the grocers now many means uh, you can get the through online you can get the product now you no no need to go to the market also you can get everything through your mobile click previously books now we all know that kindle many people are using although i am not very uh, i don't know i am not very uh, um, i always believe the book reading is always better but still many young generation people they they are using kindle very often of course these are also disruption flipkart amazon that and restaurant to now swiggy zomato you all n generation students all people you people are using this swiggy and zomato very often and this uh, really they are helping to save their your things to during your, your from hostel food sometimes if you, do, you don't like your hostel food or you don't like the that particular day menu 
you can just order to Zomato or Swiggy and food will deliver to your uh, place. So these are the these are the some disruption taking place in, uh, in this is the help what the startups are bringing to this society. They are helping the society. If you see the each and every startup story, you will see they are they are doing some societal benefit also. They are giving some, some societal benefit. They are job creating jobs. They are doing business and they are earning money. So it all total, but in the day one, they are taking, they took the risk. That's why they, and they took the risk. They have that uh, um, persistent, they have their, means uh, they, uh, they believe themselves because that you, you must believe yourself. That is also very much required for a startup, for an entrepreneur. So out of that, that brood down, many successful startups are coming. So uh, there are the many startups examples he have given. Um, um, if anyone can say who uh, just can stand and say that will be uh, who all are. Uh, I have mentioned the company name. So anybody, any any student can just tell us who are these those entrepreneurs' name. Antonio. Anyone? Please introduce yourself and. Uh... Good luck for your guesses. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Anup De. Uh, the, I know two uh, OYO founder Ritesh Agarwal and Ola founder Bhavesh Agarwal. And PTM founders, I was, um, PTM founders is Vijay Sekhar Sarma. Yes, yes. Correct. Correct. Uh, I not know the uh, flip card. Okay. Any anyone? Flipkart and Snapdeal. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I remember Flipkart ka CEO Kalyan Krishnamurti. I guess. No, 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 no. Who have the main founder? Who, whose picture is this? Anyone? Flipkart and Snapdeal. Sachin Bansal, ma'am. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Sachin Bansal. Now only one left. Snap deal. Anyone? Anyone can say? Uh, is it uh, Rohit Bansal, Snap deal founder? Or uh, no, this picture is Bala. not for Rohit Bansal. Bala, I think. Yes, someone has to. I think. I think someone. Is there anyone else who would like to give it a try? Ma'am, I think they are all waiting for the right answers. Okay, here's Kunal Bell. Okay, so here are some companies who started their journey from their campus. One company also from our India, that is Redbus. Anyone can see who is the founder of this Redbus? I would like to take the privilege over here because it is, it is, it is, it is, yeah. We all know this story perhaps, but uh, the, the thing is uh, like being uh, the, the, the uh, faculty from Bits Pulani, it would be my privilege to state about Mr. Farinder Sharma guys. All right. <laughs> Real yes. Of, of our times. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Anindra Sarma from Bits Pilan. So that's why I just, I have mentioned particularly this Red Bus because it's a great story. And because why I'm telling about these people, they have shown to the our young generation that yes, you can do that, this thing. So it is, it is pos always possible. So here one he is also from India, Suhas Gopinath. He is the world's youngest CEO. And it's my privilege, it's my honor that I have met him twice. I had a good discussion with him. See, he took the charge of CEO at the age of 17. So he's the youngest CEO and he's also from India. Here also, uh, uh, how, how I'm saying that technology innovation, continuous innovation is required. 
because we all know that our food then change to Facebook. Now the Instagram people are uh, our young generation. They are also now not using Facebook. They are using the Instagram, SMS to WhatsApp, and all. So innovation. If you, if every nothing is permanent. You have to continuous innovation is very much required if you want to be in the market. Here's two story I'll tell you just in a very uh, short way that some startups who have mentored, I have mentored around 200 startups, you can say. There are two startups who are very young and they have just from their college, right from their college, they have started their startup journey. I am giving those examples. Uh, these are the three boys from Kit University. Uh, when I was in Kit TBI uh, during 2011, uh, not from uh, two, yes, 2011. These are the three boys from Kit University. They have started their journey. They have first developed a uh, gas leakage detection system uh, to, and then that that product was not very means uh, there were they were not successful on that product. Although they got some some uh, grant money for that gas leakage detection from MSME, but that product was not successful. Then they developed a uh, um, a product to locate the vehicle, location of a vehicle to location. Then they, from that, their product, Farai developed. Now they are very well known of the Farai product. It is a, um, if you see, it is a last mile delivery software, SaaS based uh, um, uh, product and a SaaS based platform that to help the business across food, you can say, or grocery, furniture, pharmacy, carrier to the deliver the at a reduced cost and provide uh, good customer experience. All the delivery platform, they are using it. And uh, during 2013, they got the MSME grant. Then um, uh, for, uh, I think uh, they got the six lakhs or seven lakhs MSME grant. Then Tide scheme, they got 13 lakhs uh, on uh, sweat equity basis. And then TDB seed fund, they got in a, on a equity basis. And then after that, um, they got the first investment through the Indian Angel Network. So that is the first time they got the investment. And after that, they got a Series A, Series B, and now they, they got the Series E fund. They have offices now in 30 countries. In, um, they have offices in Chicago, London, Dubai, Singapore, and New Delhi. I have seen their offices in New Delhi also, around, uh, uh, I think, the more than 500 employees are working in that office, only in that New Delhi office. They have developed more than 150 customers and uh, um, total $150.7 million investment they have already received and not very far to be an unicorn. They will be very soon they, they can be an unicorn. So these are the, uh, these are the um, three boys to whom I mentored very closely. I have seen their journey. Why it is, I have mentioned one thing that you have to be, you don't spend money uh, without any reason. You have to be money savvy also. Because I have seen, they have not, they didn't spend anything on without any reason. They, they have, they never expect to a very luxury life. Means they, when there is a, there was a very small office in this Sahid Nagar area. And, uh, and now they can, I think almost every 15 days they are going to somewhere else, some outside India, they are traveling. So when the you when you are start your journey, do it very cautiously, do it very um, to, without any reason, don't spend your money for the just for the so uh, showcase and all these things. Make your things happen. Make concentrate, make a you know, single point that to grow your customer to give a quality product or service, but because quality is a very much key point. And that is why these people are coming. And they are very down to earth till now, very humble. And that is keeping them still now a very good company. And I am sure they will, they will be unicorn very soon. And uh, they, I am really proud of these three boys. So, this is one company, they, are, they, they have started their journey from Bhubaneswar itself. Although they are not from, no, no, not from Odisha, all three are from Bihar. And they are, uh, they, uh, 
they were doing their uh, engineering from kit uh, university that time they have started their journey during their final year they have started another two boys uh, akash and abhishek um when i i was the ceo of indigram labs foundation it's i'm really fortunate to come across these two boys one is from the iit delhi another one from the iit rurki just after their graduation they started they came to our place and they started their journey through our basement area because they needs uh, need to uh, keep their product means they are doing the um, non perishable products so they need something to store their products so we give them a, our basement area they started their journey through the basement area um they are, they are now they are the lead, leading brand of dry fruits nuts and seeds and across india and they now they are planning to export their products also and very and the quality of product they are very much concentrated on their quality the quality of the product is very high um and now they have the 200 employees and uh, they have raised 200 million dollar and when they they joined in the our uh, uh, incubator after 4 5 months uh, their um, uh, their monthly income was 5 lakhs but within a year you cannot believe their monthly income was one more than 1 crore so that is the that is the things these two these boys have created their startup so these are the two story because they why i am telling always you because they have not they have started their journey immediately immediately even they are means doing their uh, final year they have started their startup journey so they have created those things so if they could why not you it is always possible you need to be very passionate that you need to be very focused into very passion towards whatever you want to do just think about the what are the things is uh, you are passion to do so if you will you will find that things and you will create your startup on that uh, area then definitely that will help you to create your business successfully and another thing is make your team wisely because team is very much a good a good team will uh, take a success rate you will make the success rate very high so there are the three things to create a successful startup business to start with good people that is what i already told that is good team to make something cust what customer actually want we we must do our market study before we start before our idea generation or problem identification if you are thinking something there is a problem then we must do a business market analysis market survey whether that product or service that we want to develop whether that there is a need of a customer or not so take to make something what your customer actually want and to spend a little money as possible don't spend money without any reason that so baji is not required for a startup that will things that automatically things will happen you will you will you will get a luxury life when you will really be successful and after 2 to 3 years if you are real sincere and give your effort definitely things will happen so and have pride in how far you have come have faith faith in how far you can go so always believe in yourself that is also very much required believe in yourself yes i can do this is my organization i thought i must say about my organization that this is my brain child it is my baby that winners forum i am look like a also a startup i can say but my this company it is a is a section eight company and we are we are focused to help the women startups because after through my long journey i saw that women startup has something something very new by something very uh, unique problem or they are very comfortable with the mentors who are women women mentors or they are comfortable with the women investors so on that point i have created this uh, particular forum and um, with a facilitator for the startup ecosystem in india it is it has a no geographical boundary we uh, will create we will help the women startup in each and every part of india 
and not only in india we are also we are trying to focus on the our neighboring state uh, neighboring country like uh, uh, nepal bhutan and bangladesh so this is our uh, in uh, our different social media platform this our uh, uh, website one can see that yes. so thank you so much if there is any question or anything please do ask me i'll be happy to answer. thank you dhanyawad ma'am uh couldn't say that you know we just over thank you but uh, this is what we can assure that uh, given all the artistics what it takes to you know uh, go for the crafting skills and and be uh, receiving the ages under some enable guidance you know from mentorship i believe that you know uh, we are already witnessing some of the participants turn into incubators pretty soon certainly you know the the women participation here is a, is an encouragement for sure let's uh, clap once again for the wepreneurs forum guys and on here the... I, i i want to say one thing uh, women entrepreneurs definitely very close to my heart but it is it is not like that i will not give mentoring support to <laughs> all our vendors <laughs> that is women oh, okay i am always there for any startup anyone any startup any innovators can call me or ask me anything any time i am always there thank you thank you thank you so much and on that note are there any quick questions to take up yes please please introduce yourself good afternoon ma'am my name is nagendra agrawal and my question is which is more important entrepreneurship and uh, and startup uh, see entrepreneurship uh, what i told that entrepreneurship and startup 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 is by an entrepreneur only when to one or two or two three entrepreneurs combine and form a company that is a startup so if you are a good entrepreneur that is the main key point if you are a good entrepreneur definitely your startup company will be successful because after all the person the entrepreneur will create the startup company so definitely the main key point is the entrepreneur you one entrepreneur should be a good he has some good if the clarity of an entrepreneur is there then you we can create a good startup company so most important is the entrepreneur only and the process is the entrepreneurship hope i am clear thank you ma'am uh, there is one more question to take up quickly hello ma'am uh, i am abhish kumar uh, hello my question is that uh, how could we uh, determine that uh, whether we should go for entrepreneurship or uh, we should opt for job actually um, we uh, we being a young generation uh, part of young generation we do have uh, so many ideas but uh, when it's about taking the initiative towards being a entrepreneur uh, we definitely require lots of guts so i just wanted to know what would you say for that yes see that is why the mentors are required because mentors can guide you that whether your idea um, or the things is correct or not if you have a good idea very promising idea then you can go for the entrepreneurship line but you if you don't have the very good idea and you have some confusion then it is it is always good then you do some uh, job first then start your entrepreneurship line that is always there that's why many many startup you'll see they they have done uh, two to three years their job then they are coming to their entrepreneurship line so if there is a confusion or you are thinking that your idea is not that good then or you, you don't know whether it will work or not you can go for a job to means to make it a uh, and if possible um, the field you want to work uh, as a startup as you want to develop your startup if possible do some job in that particular area so that is that will help you to more more clarity and um, clarity will come from that line and thing is always always uh, take help from a good mentor because that is that is what the mentor should be i think and we are actually getting more number of questions i mean the inspiration is thoroughly visible yeah please um ma'am my name is shubham panigrai uh, i have a question uh, related to startup uh, if uh, someone has a good idea 
uh, but uh, is it a good idea to like work with a startup and learn something then start the startup see yes without uh, some it is always good that you you identify the problem first you if you are seeing any promising problem that is that is a real problem for a customer or a, for people then you can you can develop your idea on from that problem because that will give a sure success the success rate will be high if you identify the problem first proper problem and from that problem you will develop the idea but if you start just like a startup company because you you like that things but there is a i'm not saying that uh, definitely you will be not successful there may be a chance some chances that you can be successful that but the success rate will be very low if you just first develop that register uh, a startup company then you do want to do what you want to do uh, next so it is always good before register the registration of a startup company uh brainstorm there what is the problems you are seeing write it down what are the problems you are seeing then do some market survey mark do some mentoring some uh, some guidance with the, your mentors or whoever available and do brainstorming with your peers peer group then then from that problem identification try to develop a good idea if that idea is really promising then you can register a company startup company that will that will give you more success that then the success rate will be high otherwise uh, just you will just a registered as a startup company because now these days many youngsters are doing like that they are they are they are thinking that like this is a now startups are also uh, just like that um, uh, uh, in film or media that those thing that the hero heroines that those people like the startups are also thinking i am a startup that is a means uh, those type of things are coming to the youngster mind but it is there it is always good as you can be a startup but first uh, go through a proper process don't register a company immediately and uh, thanks for this uh, commendable presentation and it, it was very nice and uh, we learned so many things from this thank you thank you thank you so much any if if there is a, i don't know whether there is a e sale or anything that type right? if that is i can come sometime visit sometime and i can discuss with you people uh, we cannot uh, wait more for that in fact we do have an entrepreneurship cell and and that is the center for innovation and business incubation which we are going okay. to for registration of a incubator facility and right okay. so functioning as a co incubator with aic bimtech utter incubation villa okay. institute of management technology yeah 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 we got ma'am one more uh, i think a uh, rigorous question coming up i think so all geared yeah up. yeah sure sure please no problem really very good afternoon ma'am uh, my name is vishnu dattan um ma'am my question is like um, right now everybody you know seeing these presentations being uh, admitted in the mba school business school uh, obviously we'll have some ideas about uh, how to you know like how how immediately should we start an idea i mean start a company if you have an idea so at the same time i have this thought you know financial and investments the, do matter for uh, entrepreneurship obviously like um, my idea is simple it's i'll just tell in a vague idea like is it it's, it's supposed to be helping people but at the same time i don't think the finance is going to help run the company at the same time so all together i wanted to ask is that should i wait for like maybe work for 10 to 15 years make some money and then start the company or should i start immediately like maybe in 2 to 5 years okay at the same time with you know some investment or something is it safe or uh, the other way around is safe because my worry is that my idea you know we are living in a 7 billion you know like 7 million people are there around us so everybody can have the same idea so you know if i'm keeping it for late somebody else might do it faster than me so should i do it maybe very soon taking some precautionary steps or is it like wait for some time yes if if, if you will you will wait wait for 2 to 3 years more not more than that don't don't wait for 15 years because that will that will take your passion and it is see it is all it is also correct that if you will not start now someone else will do that is always correct 
so if you have a very good idea or if you know that this is a very promising idea i can solve this problem of our customers or our people then definitely you start see another thing is funding is not an issue now funding is lots of funding opportunities are available if you have a very great idea very good innovation definitely you will get funding support there are many schemes through many incubators many uh, organizations available grant money means starting from that the proto to develop the prototype to seed fund now startup india has also seed fund support they have also 20 lakhs grant and uh, to incubators there are many schemes are running so if you have a very promising a promising innovation or promising idea definitely you can start right now or if you are slightly confused means you are confused that no maybe it is a not right time maybe i then you can do your job 2 to 3 years because after doing that 2 to 3 years job many things will clear out so but don't do make it uh, means if you have want to do something don't do after 15 years uh, after 15 years uh, things will be something different so uh, don't wait for that long i can say yes take a, take a, um, your for your company build up a good advisory board who can advise you properly advisory board besides your team members one is the advisory board you must create your advisory board very wisely thank you well uh, we we always believe to uh, be renovated and what better than to have someone who can speak her heart out and at the same time give us all the cautionary markings you know where to halt where to pause and how to go for again a reconciliation how to go for the prototype testing how to search for a good idea that really solves a particular problem or which might create capacity building for social inclusion or or let us say a, a program policy in itself preserving the idea is certainly uh, a way out to look for either you know going for a patent or an intellectual property copyright licensing or just a trademark for it on that note we on behalf of billa global university we extend our esteemed gratitude to dr manisha acharya ma'am once again guys a round of applause thank you thank you so much the journey what is labeled today as entrepreneurial is in fact where all the entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs enter into a jungle fight and when it is the evening or the we hours everyone settles on a different branch of a tree however the forestry which is the ecosystem of the startups goes by the rule where a idea gets into shape and that's where millions of hope get what is called the stimulus and that is desirable and it could be sector agnostic or it could be a service that is widely applicable for all benefits thank you once again everyone and certainly ma'am we are uh, awaiting to host few more live sessions where there could be your physical presence to interact with the young minds and the faculty to work out on plans that can be executed and hopefully you will have in your future course of session deliveries to name certain startups that have come up or that that have been born out of the sessions and your inspiration with us over here sure sir definitely actually that's great thank you Thank you, Vatman. Thank you, guys. One second. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, indeed. All right. जो लोग नहीं आ सके हैं, 